Thank you. Hundreds of local teachers were in that crowd today. News 4 Tucson's Aliyah Shahid traveled up I-10 with them as those educators took their Red for Ed message from Tucson to Phoenix. And Aliyah's there live right now with more. So Aliyah, what did they have to tell you today? Well, John, they had a lot to say. I can some I can say as someone who was in that crowd, it was absolutely massive. And as you said, full of teachers from Tucson. They tell me they came out here. They made this journey to fight for their kids. Red for Ed! Red for Ed! Red for Ed! Tucson educators packing up and walking out. What do we want? to the streets of downtown Phoenix, joining a crowd of 50,000 who say they all came for the same reason. We support education. We need to fund the entire school. Support our children because they deserve better classrooms. We uh, want more funding. Yeah, and some support, a little love. Red for Ed! Red for Ed! Woo! Woo! Educators say they didn't want to walk out of their classrooms, but feel they have no choice. Funding! Oh, Thank you. We're at 50th in, in um, salaries for educators. We're at 49th of per pupil spending. Those are the kinds of statistics that we can no longer um, accept in Arizona. As school closures continue statewide, one Tucson educator says she wants people to know she's not walking out on her kids. She's walking out for them. I have colleagues who have holes in their floors. We have termite damage in our walls. We have textbooks from 2003 and it's not okay and our kids deserve the dignity to come into a well-maintained building and to have new materials that prepare them for the 21st century. Red for Ed. Now today's rally might be over, but when this teacher walkout will end still remains to be seen and what impact it could have on this school year as graduation approaches is also unclear. Reporting from the Capitol, Aliyah Shahid, News 4 Tucson.